Pitching yourself for collaborations is a lot like interviewing for a job. You prepare your resume, apply for the position, and wow the interviewer. But there are some key differences and I know how daunting it can be if you're just getting started, so I am here to help you. There are a few options here. One, you could wait for brands to discover you and make the first move. Two, you could join one of the many social platforms out there and apply for collaborations and wait for them to approve you. Although sometimes those don't pay very fairly. Or number three, you can take matters into your own hands and pitch yourself to brands for collaborations. And then number one and number two can just be the icing on the cake. And since we are all about being proactive here, we're going to talk about taking control of your future and pitching yourself to brands. Before we get into the actual pitching, let's start with a little prep work. Make a list of all the brands that you wanna work with and keep this in a spreadsheet. And you wanna keep this on hand because you're going to be adding to this list as you get their contact information. This is also a great way to keep track of anyone you've already contacted or the people that you're going to reach out to. And remember that pitches are much more successful when they're targeted to brands that you actually admire, especially if you've worked them into your content organically. So when making this list, keep that in mind and choose brands that align with your brand and vice versa. And just like you might want to interview for more than one job, you also want to pitch to more than one brand because you're not going to get hired every time. The idea is to cast a wide net and catch a few collaborations. So now that you've made your list of dream collaborations, let's talk about how to secure them. First things first, you've got to have a media kit for your pitch. And I talked about that in my last episode. So if you don't know what that is, haven't made one yet, or just need some tips on what to include in it, hop back one episode and watch that first. Don't worry, I'll wait for you. Oh, I don't have a watch. Okay, great. Now that you have your shiny new media kit, keep that handy in an easy to access folder and you'll be including that in all of your pitches moving forward. Bonus tip, make dedicated media kits for any major life events or holidays. For instance, my boyfriend and I recently bought our first home, so I made a dedicated home media kit for renovations and decorating projects. And I love Halloween, so I have a Halloween media kit that I recently sent out that shows off all of my costume skills. Now keep your media kit handy. We're going to talk about writing the actual pitch. Think of the dedicated pitch email as a condensed love letter to the brand that you're courting. Now, of course, you don't wanna actually get romantic with them, but this is a great time to tell them why you would make the perfect pair. A big mistake I see people making time and time again is just making a one-size-fits-all generic pitch that you send out to every brand. You should totally be tailoring it to every single brand. And it's fine if you wanna have an outline. I do, I have a little outline that I tweak as I go. But you should always make sure that you tell each brand what you like about that brand, any common ground worth highlighting, and then of course, how you would like to collaborate. This is a great time to flex your creative muscles and tell them what a partnership could look like with you. So if you have any specific ideas, write them out in concise detail. For instance, I had this really specific vision of how I wanted to work with a wallpaper company. I had this idea of a video shoot. So when I wrote them my pitch and included my media kit, I also wrote out in detail exactly how I wanted to collaborate with them. And to my delight, they responded and said, this is exactly the type of partnership that we've been looking for. And I think if I would have just written an email saying like, hi, I'm Keiko Lynn, here's my media kit, do you wanna work together? I might not have even gotten a response, let alone a partnership. Remember that spreadsheet of your dream brand collaborations? Well, keep it handy and keep it updated with their contact info because it is crucial to reach out to the right person or else you're just wasting your breath. And I know it can be a little tricky to figure out who the right person is, but there's a few different ways. You can check on their website and sometimes you'll get lucky and it'll just be listed right there under like influencer collaborations or something. You can check on LinkedIn for something like influencer relations, marketing, PR, social media manager, 
Or my personal favorite, if it's not easily available on their site, is to just directly reach out on social media via DMs and just ask them who the best person is to contact. Okay, I know that sounds like a lot, but I promise once you've done that prep work and that initial pitch outline, it will be like a well-oiled machine. Now I'm going to challenge each of you to pitch yourself to five different brands this week so that you can get accustomed to it. You think you can do that? I think you can. I totally believe in you. Thank you so much for watching. For more creator tips and insights, make sure that you watch all my past episodes and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.